literally smells like a dentist breakfast in here. That looks good, bud. Finally, it's out. This is how eating at a restaurant looks like for me now. I'll be honest, we got a little bit carried away. Slam on the brakes. <laughs> it's your first firework, baby. Hi. Where is his obsession with pushing things? Edward, what are you doing, bud? I'm not doing that again. Shh. No. I'm gonna get Good morning. Good morning, little man. <laughs> yeah, you can wake up. We gotta get ready. Hey, those blankets hurt food. Those blankets hurt food. Mm -hmm. What do you got on? You got on your moose pajamas? He got his cozy, fuzzy, warm. That's why he doesn't want to get out of bed. Oh. That's why he's like, Mom, Dad, I'm not ready to get out of bed just yet. I know a solution to this. <laughs> hey, Dad, it's cold in here. Cole likes to keep the air at 60 in here, and it's usually really cold. You sleep better when it's cooler. Yeah, but then you don't wake up better. <laughs> it's, it's cold. Cole's already ready for church, and I'm not even ready. I just got up. <sighs> Look at those pearly whites. Are you picking out Edward's outfit? Yeah. Will a 3T fit him, or is that a little too big? I would say put it on, because Edward ranges. Okay. Let's try it. Is it cold today? No, it's like mid 70s. So okay. Really nice. I got some shirts that will go with that. Zikis! I'm coming for you next. Let's do. We'll do these ones with that one, Cole. Okay. That Change a really <laughs> nasty poop. Really Edward, cool. do you want to put your clothes on? Here, let's put these on you instead. You can wear oh, your socks? Look at that. Now you put them on. You can wear your socks? Awesome. How do you like your outfit? That looks good, bud. Your shorts look a little big. They rolled up and you got your shirt tucked in. Oh, you got your book? Oh. You gonna read your favorite book? Okay. I got in the shower. I am ready. We are ready to go. The boys are in the car. Are you guys ready to go? Yeah. Yeah, let's go to church. Yeah. All right. You heard them. We are looking good on time today. Usually we're running pretty late. Cole did pack us our breakfast to go. A real to go breakfast. Yep, I got some stuff for you up here too. Yeah, got some thank toast you. with a hash brown. Yay. There's buttered five already. sunny side up eggs there. One dad made, four I made, so mine are the moister ones. And then I got some Greek yogurt with orange juice. With orange juice. Cool. Makes this concoction. He swears it tastes good, but... It does taste good. I don't know about that. If you don't like Greek yogurt, you just have to eat it like three times to get over the taste. And then it doesn't taste like sour cream anymore. I, I literally think it tastes good. like sour cream. Like... I can't get over that. Yeah, the, just, the first couple times I had it, it was a little rough. But once you you gotta force yourself first, the th first three times, and then you're fine. It literally smells like a dentist breakfast in here. It just smells like breakfast, and that's what it smells like in here. Thank you, Mama Cornstar and Daddy Cornstar, for making us food to go. Like this is this is a huge blessing because I am so hungry. You didn't thank me. I made this. I made that. Dad made one of those, and then Mom made you that. So. Thank you, too. I, I guess it was a full team effort. Hey, I packed water for us. That's I just perfect. did put ice in it this time. Paul literally has a bowl of orange juice and Greek yogurt at his feet, and it's lothing around. And I, will, I am nervous I about that. I will stir right here in just a moment, and then you grab some out of the shop. That's making me nervous. Slam on the brakes and just <laughs> <laughs> That breakfast was so good. I already finished my whole bowl. You killed those eggs. I cooked eggs. <laughs> what I'm trying to say here is that you made some really good eggs. The trick is you just gotta make eggs, just, just keep them a little moist on the surface. <laughs> once they stop sticking to the pan, then flip them over, keep them on low heat. Keep them on the heat once you flipped them for like 20 seconds and then just shut the heat off. <laughs> then count to 20 again, then they're done. <laughs> are not the happiest right now. We just got out of church. Um, Cole's still in there. He's chatting up a storm right now. He likes to practice his Spanish, so he likes to talk to people as long as possible. But I got the kids loaded up, and they're ready to go. They're pretty upset. I think it's a little hot in here, so Ezekiel is just, he just doesn't like that. But as soon as we get moving, things will start to cool down, and then he will be happy again, hopefully. Um, Edward is hungry, though, so we gotta get that boy some food ASAP. I think we're thinking Mexican, which I'm really excited about, because I... 
I'm really craving some chips and salsa. Are you guys hungry? You hungry, Eddie? Yeah. Yeah. Siggy's baby, I know it's hot. We'll get you out of here soon, okay? I'll call daddy right now. I called Cole a few minutes ago, but he still hasn't came out and the kids are not getting any more chill right now. So I'm gonna see if I can pull up right up to the door so that he can see us. Daddy. Eddie's just crying out for daddy. And hopefully he'll see us and he will rush out. Literally right next to the door. Ava. I'm waiting for my husband. Finally, he's out. <laughs> you are hilarious. What is taking you so long? I was talking to the Mexican. You were practicing your Spanish. I was. Okay, we gotta go get some food. I'm hungry. The boys are hungry. I'm assuming you're hungry. Thank you, Magic Spoon, for sponsoring today's video. I absolutely love a salty breakfast, but every once in a while, I just crave a bowl of cereal. I'm just not okay with it being loaded with sugar and not being very filling, so I do my best to avoid them. But after discovering Magic Spoon, it's not something I have to give up entirely. Magic Spoon is a high-protein cereal that you can enjoy at any time of day. It has 13 to 14 grams of protein per serving, zero grams of sugar, and no artificial flavors or dyes. And that's why I was so excited when I discovered Magic Spoon because it's the same great taste I remember, but with upgraded ingredients. It's like getting to enjoy my favorite breakfast again, but in a way that works for me today. With flavors like fruity, frosted, cocoa, peanut butter, cinnamon roll, there's something for everyone. Personally, my favorite is fruity. It is your favorite childhood cereal reinvented. And don't miss Magic Spoon's brand new treats. They're crispy, crunchy, and airy without the chewy stickiness of a protein bar. Magic Spoon isn't just breakfast. It's the perfect snack to keep you going anytime and anywhere. Use my code NAVE or click the link in the description to try Magic Spoon cereal or treats today and get $5 off. You can also find Magic Spoon in your nearest grocery store. And Magic Spoon is so confident in their product, it's backed with a 100% happiness guarantee online. So if you don't like it, for any reason, they'll refund your money. No questions asked. So click the link in the description or go to magicspoon.com slash nave for $5 off. The little man was thirsty. Everywhere we go, Edward finds his little drumsticks. Just got done at church after getting yelled at the entire car ride over here for standing and talking to people That's after church. That's not true. Okay, I'm kidding. I didn't get yelled at, but I did get on like that to get outside. His name is Brother Braulio said that this is the place to eat and it's scrum diddly dumptious. We're going to give it a try. So far, Edward really likes it. This is Edward's first time eating salsa. <laughs> oh, you got it all over. I see that. <laughs> it's okay. We have extra clothes for a reason. Yeah, he likes the salsa. I'm going for more. Can I help you? Mm. Let me get the salsa off your shirt. <laughs> now feed him the chip. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of that lemon, buddy? Wow, I can never he actually likes it. He's not like making a face or anything. I think he genuinely likes it. This is how eating at a restaurant looks like for me now. Stop it. Daddy, ow. I cannot emphasize enough how full I am right now. We're all full. We're gonna go take a nap. We need to take a Sunday nap. I'm like debating on whether we should get smoothies or not, but because I'm so full, the answer is no. But I really wanted to, but we're too full for smoothies right now. So we're gonna go to my parents' house. They're out of town, but we have a spare key. So we're gonna crash at their place for a little bit, and then later tonight, I think we're going to my brother's. Nap time. Yes, we're doing a nap time. <laughs> it's, it's a must. It's a necessity. After Mexican food, we need a nap. I'll be honest, we got a little bit carried away. We got talking and we got eating, so we kind of completely forgot to record, but we, we're done eating now. <laughs> it was good. You going up it? Huh? Oh, big load, carrying it up. Yeah. Did you teach him how to do that? I can't take the credit for that. He, he just learns things on his own. Oh, careful, careful. <laughs> 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 I didn't go over. I literally thought he was going to go over there for a second. What is his obsession with pushing things? I don't know. But anything that has wheels, he's he's right behind it trying to push it. I did learn that Edward learned some new words in Spanish today because he lost one of his shoes and he was crying. He lost it all the way across the yard. And I asked him where his shoes were in Spanish. And then he goes running over, grabs his shoe, and then brings it back to me. Let me put it on. Go, Eddie! Here comes Isaac. He's like, let me, let me do what my cousin's doing. That looks kind of fun. Go, Isaac, go! 
BB Seekers. He was getting really hot, so I had to move him away from the fire. But look at him, he's just relaxing. I had to he's on the other side of the blanket, but he must have pushed his way back. I feel like he's starting to try to get his knees underneath. He does accidentally crawl. What I mean by that is like, he'll be like pushing his little legs and somehow like it'll push him back. And so he'll move around the room that way, but he's not doing it intentionally. I just feel like as soon as he gets his knees underneath him, he'll start moving. And he's Man, Edward's fast. <laughs> he's going fast, he's going fast. Look at him go. Look at him go. Yeah, go. <laughs> I didn't get inside. Do you want to know what's that move that I got top of the underpass? What? Ava? Here. All right, it's my turn, my turn. Oh, wait, you're break dancing. What? Your turn. Okay. So what do I got to do, the first one? You don't have to do that. Am I doing Just it Just right? get to this part. Ah. Did I do it right? <laughs> no. Are you cranky? Are you cranky? You wanna, you wanna know? Look at him. No, okay, it's his turn, it's his uh -oh. turn. I like seeing them play out here because I actually grew up in this house. So seeing my son playing on this road is bringing back all these memories, but I really like it because like I just remember like the amount of joy and the excitement that I had playing out here. Seeing them out here is just so fun. Teach me how to do a cartwheel. Okay. Can you do that? Yep. Have you ever done one, Cole? Nope. Do this? <laughs> Don't put your arms like that. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that was smooth. my wrist I'm not doing that again all right Kevin you're up all right so proud of him for I trying was... hey did you know that I grew up here yeah. like I grew up playing on this, this is road. your house it was my old house did you know that I grew up playing on this road all the time yeah and I would do picnics right there with my neighbor yeah, you, you want to run together yeah. hurry maybe you have to hold the cameraman Alright, babe, hey, don't break your ankle. Hey, bud. <laughs> She's actually pretty fast. Right, Here right, to right. that mailbox. Please. Which mailbox? The black. The black mailbox. Ready? Set. Go. <laughs> go, baby, go. <laughs> there goes that word. <laughs> this brings back so many good memories. I never thought that I would be standing on the road where I grew up basically, my childhood house, with my kids, with my husband. Go, 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 finish strong! Yeah. Are you tired? Yeah. Was that a pretty long run? Yeah. Are you gonna do it again? No. <laughs> hey, David, do you want me to show you how to get out? No, I gotta figure it out myself. So you put your hands there, and then you lift yourself up. I'm not as young as I used to be, and why does this already look super fast? Amelia, you're way up there. I can go you higher. Going up. You can? I know, I can go Can you climb the tree, Isaac? No. no. How are you guys making out? Holy cow. I can't go any higher, because there's nowhere else to go. Oh, so Amelia just goes higher. <laughs> oh, look at Zeke's. Look at the swirly. Zeke, do you like that? Ow. <laughs> Oh, it's your first firework, baby. He instantly <laughs> grabbed it. Oh. And now we get to do my favorite thing ever. Cuddle. Now we're watching movie. <laughs> we're gonna watch a movie. <laughs> Trying to figure out what movie we're gonna watch. We're gonna be watching the movie called 127 Hours, which is about a man who gets stuck in a canyon, I think in Arizona somewhere. He gets stuck in there for 127 hours. We made it like halfway through and then we kind of got bored and decided, you know what, it's getting late. So we have an hour drive home. It is 11 o'clock, so we should be home by midnight, hopefully. Glad we did make that decision to head out because otherwise it was going to be a really late night for us and our boys were starting to get cranky. It was just time to go. So we're on our way home and can't wait to make it back because I am ready for bed. Daddy, yeah. Go. It's a late night. Zeke's is passed out. Go. Quiet, quiet, be quiet. We gotta go, go upstairs now, okay? Come on. Go. Shh. 